What's going on, y'all? I'm Earl Ramsey. It's your boy Marvin Bagley, aka MB35. This is episode three. We back at it. Welcome to the Halfway Decent Pod. Yes, sir. Our special guest today is UNC guard Ooh. killer. Ooh. Tenth pick in this year's WNBA draft, <laughs> Lottery. Is Stephanie Watts. What's going on, man? You good? Word. Good. Glad to be here. Are you feel me? I feel it. <laughs> Happy to have you. Right, 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 right. So let's get right into it. You get drafted to the Sparks. First of all, how was that experience? Um, it was wild. I was in Charlotte with my family and friends. Um, you know, I wasn't always one of the people projected to go super high in the draft, but I felt I had a pro ready game. So um, there was some talk that I would go pretty high, but I didn't tell my friends, my family. Right. So they were just looking at the mocks thinking, you know, I might go later. So they were barely paying attention. So I ended up going to and, you know, we were all just super excited, happy. I love L.A., so it was cool to be Yo. out here. Dope, dope, dope. Tough. And we're going to get into that a little bit later because that's how we met in L.A. You transferred to USC. But um, before that, let's get into your college career a little bit because you did some special stuff there. But it wasn't the easiest. It wasn't the easiest road. So let's start at UNC. Like, so what happened? Like, what's going on? Talk to us about the UNC route and what led you to come to L.A. <laughs> For sure. Um I've had the most untypical college career. I mean, I came in as a freshman, never having an injury before in my life. Um, played well my freshman year, ACC freshman of the year, had a great season. Um, next year, a knee injury. So oh. I have to sit out. I had knee surgery. It was a pretty extensive one. I was out for a full year, oh, like didn't touch shit. a ball for a full year on crutches, probably for like four months. So it was tough, but I ended up coming back from that. Mm -hmm playing um, two more years at UNC, getting my UNC degree. Did you um, get your year back? Yeah, so I got the year back okay. from when I redshirted. So I redshirted that year. Right. Um, so graduated from UNC, decided I wanted to get my master's degree. USC had a one-year master's program. Right. I was like, cool, go there for a year, mm. get my master's, mm. got my master's. <laughs> but I got hurt when I was there, so that's a whole nother. Getting your master's in one year while playing basketball. <laughs> but there's the thing, though. <laughs> there's the thing. Like, what's up with there's that? the thing. It would have been impossible, I think, to get my master's while mm -hmm. playing basketball. Mm -hmm. And I guess everything happens for a reason. But mm -hmm. I only played four games at USC right. out with another knee injury. So this is my second knee injury in college. So same this is or different? Same knee. Ooh. So this is. Ooh. So I had to get a meniscus repair in my same. last surgery. Uh. Yeah. So a cyst formed on the side of my knee. So like three games in, I start feeling something kind of hurting on the side of my knee, but I'm like, okay, cool. I'm good though. I can still play. Mm -hmm. So then it's still kind of like pulling. So they're like, let's get it checked out. So I have like a cyst the size of like a golf ball in mm. my knee. So they're like, mm. you got to get it removed. So I'm like, can I wait till after the season right. or what? And they're like, nah, it's going to like, you know, mess up your tendons if you don't get it removed right now. So I had to um, get that removed, and they were like, you're not going to be back in time to play this season. So oh, I was like, this is another, you know, my last year, I thought I was going to go pro after that year, mm -hmm. but ended up not even being able to play. So, right. Um, wow. But I say that to say that I think it would have been so hard if I was like still actively training mm -hmm. and playing mm -hmm. a full season um, while trying to get my master's at USC. So right. I was able to focus on school and get my master's in an accelerated program in a year. So. Right, That's right, dope. right. That's dope. That's dope. First time we met her, I've heard about you because I train, you know, a lot of the girls at USC. I'd be up there a lot. So I knew you were coming in. But the first time we met her, you remember when we were about to train? Uh, up at, at USC, right? And she was on the gun. Yeah, and she wasn't that missing. Was, yeah, that was the first. <laughs> that was the first time I saw you in the gym when, because we used to go up there all the time and, and work out and and be up there every day, every morning in the off season, and you was in there shooting. Cash locked in, like bro. I was. I told do you I said, remember that? Yeah, I do. I, was about I do. To say, I, I was do. Like, remember that? Bro, I'm, <laughs> I'm looking. I'm like. Your yeah. whole family was in there, I remember? Yeah, I, talked to, I talked to your dad yeah, out there. Dad, yeah, mom, your brother. My yeah, little brother. I saw. They was yeah, all out there. I was like. She's not missing. Right. Like I was like, that's yeah. OD. Yeah. Like, that was the first time um, that I seen her. I was like, yeah, that's that's crazy. That, no. How long ago was that? <sighs> two years. Two? Yeah, two. Yeah. two. You know how crazy? You know what the craziest part about that? What's that? She had full nails on. 
Wait, no way. I, I sure did. Um, yeah, you. I did. Wait, what? <laughs> they was long. Uh, they was not that long. They was not. They was not. They was not no, they wasn't. They was curled. not that long. They curled. No, because cause <laughs> Tim, cause Tim was out there and he took a video that day. He was right. like, that was the first time I met him too, but he was out there. And he he was out a, there to shoot us. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah he was yeah. like, can I get a video? So I was like, okay, cool. But he ended up right. videoing um, that day and it was not that long. They that was about. How you shoot with nails? They was not that I long. I heard it flickering but on. They was, the, like, but they was, they was cute though. But they was not that long. They was. This is before you even had your USC stuff. I think you still had on UNC stuff. I, I had just pulled up. Yeah. Just someone. I don't even think I had a swipe ticket in the gym. Like someone let right, me in, and right. I just was getting up shots. Hey man, that's dedication. Not missing. That's us dedication. Damn. But um, from that day we knew like, all right, we're gonna get in the gym. Like, we're gonna get in the gym, and uh. You was humble about it, you know. Once we approached you about getting in the gym, you was like, "Yeah, for sure. like, of course, let's do it." And um, we only got in a few times. I think you were hurt um, back then, but uh, we did get some kind of work in, and you know, uh, I was glad to see. I went to one game. I was glad to see you kind of getting in, but then hearing about the injury, four games in, I was like, "Damn, like can't catch a break." All right, but mm. you transfer back to UNC. Tell us about that. <sighs> okay, so <Sick>. a lot. <laughs> so Sick. a lot went into that. Um, I loved everything about USC. Mm. Loved the place. I loved LA. Loved the staff. Loved my team. Everything about it. But to come back to USC, it was going to be tough because I was going to have to get another master's degree mm. and take another master's program. And I just didn't feel like I could focus on basketball and be taking another master's course, getting another degree. So. Right. Um, at UNC, they kind of let me take like drama, acting, like random classes. And I knew from my last year of college, I wanted to focus on um, getting to the next level. And right. I wanted to focus on really like training. And I don't think I had time to, you know, manage a whole master's program and train. So right. I think that was a big part of that decision. And, you know, I was happy to be back at UNC for my last year because yeah. my family doesn't miss a game. We're two hours down the road. So okay, okay. it just all came full circle, honestly. That's dope. That's dope. That's dope. You did some legendary stuff that season. Y'all went to the tournament. I seen a clip of you almost making somebody hit themselves, <laughs> going behind the back, laying up. I see that. Um, but uh, we want to talk a little bit. We got a dookie here. We got a, uh, what do y'all call y'all? Uh, what are, what's y'all little Duke, nicknames? D-O-O-K, Duke. Oh, don't do that <laughs> to don't, them. Don't disrespect me like that. Don't disrespect me. D-O-O-K. Is the rivalry as real as it is on the men's side? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. One thousand. What? One thousand. When you see them, it's still, it's still, it's still, even the women, it's still like, it's up. It's up. It's up. (laughs) UNC, anything UNC is like, ah, like, mm. the calculus Mm. at UNC. uh, No, but no, it's it's crazy though, because like, it ain't, it's not serious, obviously. But like, it's just that right when you down there, it's like, bro, like, you go down there, you go to, we played it at USC, that environment was crazy. Yeah. It's just all around the board like that for the women and the men on the men's side. So like <laughs> that's all that they talk about on campus. The day of the game, the week of the game. It's like yo, we got UNC coming up. Like phew. trash talking start early. What? Early. 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 What's your People record? Coming What's your to record? parties and stuff and shoot. I couldn't even tell you our record. Did y'all win? <laughs> yeah, we 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 won at Duke. They won some. It's just kind of okay. back and forth. Okay, back, back, and forth. And back and forth. Back and forth. It's always been a good rivalry with them. Hey, That's dude. what's up. We lost to them twice, bro, Mike, when I was there. <laughs> Still mad, bro. Heated. Man. Bro, man. We lost at their place. Came back like a week and a half later. Beat them in camera on senior night. Then we had to go to the tournament. Yeah. Ne- the next week, played them again and lost. Set up an alumni game. Huh? Set up an alumni oh, game. Oh, for sure. No, we gonna run that. Back. <laughs> got set up an alumni back. game. You gotta wish. run that back. Run it back. Cam Johnson. <laughs> right. Right. All of them dudes, man. Right. Bring, them back. Back. Bring them All back. We gotta run it back. All right. So going into the WNBA, this is your dream. You've been playing ball your whole life. Um, to hear your name get called in the lottery like that, like, how did you feel? It's it's honestly a crazy feeling. It's something like you dream about since you're a kid, you know, mm. like in, in the WNBA when there's only 12 teams, 11, 12 <laughs> roster spots. It's just like, you know, people try to make it seem like that's not realistic. Mm. And um, especially me coming off two knee surgeries, mm. you know, everyone kind of like had me counted out. I wasn't preseason this. I wasn't postseason, nothing, no mm. awards, none of that. So. 
um, people kind of had me counted out from the jump. So mm -hmm. that just gave me extra motivation to go hard. And it just meant all that much more to hear my name called. It's your game. I think it was your game. Like you had a you had a WNBA game, WNBA size for your position and stuff like that. And that's what I say. Like, how do you looking at it from a men's basketball perspective? Do you think it's like more difficult to make it to the WNBA? Like just looking at it as a as a fan because, bro, twelve teams is ridiculous. Yeah. 12 teams, like... Yeah, I mean, from, like, just watching it, it seemed like it's tougher. Yeah. Um, I mean, with just the less opportunities, you got, you know, more, obviously more teams in the NBA. Right. But I watch. Yeah. <laughs> I'll be yeah, watching. Be tuned in, yeah. I'll be, I just sit back and watch WNBA games whenever I can because it's like, like, I really enjoy it. People, right. you know, you got the people like this. Like, right. Like, what you mean? Right. Right. If you love hoop, if you love basketball, you're going to watch. I think it's – I might sound crazy. I think you're more elite if you're in the WNBA because it's so little opportunity there right. to actually kind of get drafted, be there, be on the team. I think, like, only the elite of the elite is yeah, in the I mean, WNBA. And when you look at it, like, okay, so I'm drafted number 10, cool, right? Mm -hmm. I get to a team, it's 16 people at training camp. It's only 12 spots. So it's just mm. like, you know, you're not, no one's guaranteed right. anything. So it's just kind of like, just because you get drafted, now the work starts. So right. it's just kind of like getting drafted is fun and it's cool, but that's not where it ends. That's just where it starts. You right. know, like you're getting drafted into a situation where there's more people than there are spots. And, you know, some of these, most of the people have been in the league four or five years. So yeah. you're coming to take somebody's spot who's been in the league four yeah. or five years. Who knows so it. It's yeah. just, yeah. It's, you get called into a system. Them. And you know when I got traded, everything was that was even more crazy. But like it's just it's tough. It's tough. Yeah. So you get traded to Chicago. We can right to that. You get traded to Chicago, and this is fresh off of Candace Parker coming back to her hometown, mm -hmm. veteran team. They're looking to win a championship. Like how was that experience? Because looking at it, I'm like, I was about to go buy my Sparks jersey. I was about to go buy my Stephanie Watts. <sighs> Sparky, uh, it's, LA. I'm you. it's the homie. Right. You know what I'm saying? I was finna buy that and then you go to Chicago. So like I mean, what's up? What's happening yeah, in Chicago? That's everything. I mean, all the fans send me when their jerseys came in. They're sending me <laughs> pictures, tagging me on Twitter of their jerseys. And I'm like, all right, well, I'm in Chicago now. Get that one, I right, guess. Right, right, right. But yeah. I mean, I get there. So they tell me that morning. I get to back to Chicago that night. Mm -hmm. Um you know, the coaches are texting me, welcoming me. They have a preseason game. The next day, they're mm -hmm. like, all right, cool. Just know these few plays. They send me like 12 plays to know for the next morning. You know so I'm like, few plays. So I'm looking like, <laughs> okay, cool. Let me, let me try to learn <laughs> these 12 plays tonight. Get Dang. right. I just been traveling all day. Sick. Got a preseason game in the morning. So um, oh, it just wow. all moves so fast. And when I haven't been at training camp with that team, mm -hmm. uh, playing with any of those players, it, it was a little bit of a tough adjustment, but I thought I adjusted well. And, you know, it's just the process was a lot of fun. And I think a big part of it is just enjoying the process, not right. always looking like to what's next, what's this, just enjoying right. the process, right. like while you're in it. I mean, a lot of people don't get to do this, you know. Yes. There's there's 144 spots in the world. You know, they're drafting people from all over the world, Australia, mm -hmm. everywhere. So I just look at it as an opportunity every day to get better. Facts, facts, facts. Ma, what is some advice you would have about this situation that she's coming into? Um, you were a high draft pick. You were called to do a lot immediately on your team. Um, what's, what advice for somebody else or even for Steph um, coming into that situation, coming into a veteran uh, situation and now looking at it, they talking about waving. She got to go overseas or something like that. Like, what, what, what would be your advice? Um... I mean, I ain't never, I ain't never got traded or nothing. But from what I, you know, experienced so far, I'll just. I mean, one thing for me is really just like staying focused on the crap, like on the game of basketball, and like everything else around. Basketball will take care of itself at the end of the day, and that's just like how I've always thought. Like, right. if I give all my time and effort into this. Mm -hmm. everything else is is you know Take what I mean the, the game will love you back like if you, yeah. if you put the time in and, and, yeah. and if you respect the process of getting better and respect the the, the grind yeah. you respect it the, yeah. the game will respect you back so um, 
Thanks. Just locking in on that because it a lot of this could get crazy. Like it's just it's a lot more than basketball at this level. That's the only thing that matters. Yeah. Locking in to getting better every day. That's all you can that, do. If you're doing that, then I mean you you winning. Yeah, yeah. You winning, that's you, one thing you, I know she's gonna be okay with because yeah. I've seen the work. Like you don't mind hard work. You don't mind getting in the. For you to be the 10th pick or coming off of two knee injuries like that, mm. being in college that whole time, being told you probably can't do it and whatnot, for you to get your name called like that, I don't think that's by mistake. I think that was to show you, like, you belong. Now it's just about the opportunity. Now it's just about the connects. So speaking on that, you got to go to – where where are you going next? Australia, Sydney, Australia. Australia. So you're going to Sydney. Um Talk about that experience. Like, talk about what you're looking forward to out there in Sydney. Um, getting better. I mean, um, I'm excited. Uh, Shyla Hill, who is my teammate in Chicago, she'll be my teammate out in Sydney, Australia. Dope. She's from there. Dope. Her dad, Shane Hill, who played in the league. He's our coach. So Dope. I'm excited to learn a lot from both of them and just get better every single day and use this as an opportunity to really just lock in. Because, I mean, nothing in my career has been easy. So, I mean, Facts. this is nothing new to yeah. me. Like, when I came in off an injury coming back to UNC, I wasn't even starting in the beginning of the season. Wow. Like, I was coming off the bench. So I was like, yeah. it's just all like nothing new to me like everything in my life has been you know coming off two knee surgeries coming back from you know the second knee surgery you know everyone had me counted out so now like going to australia i'm just excited to go lock in and get better and play ball just just who like man, that's all it is just raw basketball like as long as i'm getting better every day i don't care where it's at what i'm doing i love basketball i love to play so to have these opportunities regardless of everything that's happened in the past to keep playing and do what i love i mean Big I can't facts. complain. Dope, dope, Big dope. Big facts. Dope. <laughs> What's the goal coming out of uh, Australia? What um, are you looking forward to at the end of that season? Just to, <laughs> I mean. WNBA. I, I just want to get better, whether that's the WNBA. Mm -hmm. um, just, just honestly proving to myself, like, what I know I can do, what facts. I know I can do in a professional league. It's the WNBL. It's a great league um, mm -hmm. outside of the WNBA. Um, and, you know, I'm excited to just see – see what I can do and, and get better. I know my game's not even, you know, where it could be. And I feel like, you know, I'm at a really strong point in my game right now, but mm -hmm. um, I know I can just get to new levels. So I'm excited um, for what's after that, whether it's the WNBA, whether it's more overseas opportunities. Um, mm -hmm. I just want to hoop and I love doing it, so. That's what it is, man. I like that. I like that. I like that answer, man. Yeah, you know I'm saying? It's not a lot of people that like, like, that just love hooping. Hey, talk about like, it. It's, it's, that's people it's crazy are good as it, at it. sounds. People are good, like you said, are good at it. But they don't. They don't love it though. That's deep. You know what I mean? Like, and that's cool. But it's just like, it's very rare, very rare to find people that like that don't mind the work. That just wanna, they that, just wanna do it. And like, like I, like, that's why I love to answer so much because right. I love the game. Like, right. it's, like right. but I'm right. willing to do everything. So that's. That's dope to like that we you can still find people that's those are the similarities I see in y'all too. Uh, being yep. on the outside of it and kind of having the opportunity to work with y'all, the the love for the game don't fade based on situation. And I love that. Because like you said earlier, you love the game, the game gonna love you back. And that's what's important. I think your time me personally, I've seen plenty of WNBA um women come through um and not calling nobody up but i think i i think you're going to be in the wnba for a long time but like you said just continue to get better get those years under your belt because now what they really want is veterans since That's it's so few spots so few spots um but yeah that i think i think i think you got the right mindset to 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 kind of see this all the way through yeah. You no, feel me? Definitely. Yeah, and I just had teammates that, you know, even in the short times I've been places like Erica Wheeler in L.A., undrafted. Mm -hmm. um, she just was always in my corner, you know, just saying, you know, enjoy every opportunity you get to do this because a lot of people don't get to do mm -hmm. it. And I'm just, you know, blessed for my experiences, um, you know, from training camp to training camp. You know, I did the whole L.A. training camp, didn't end up playing there, but I got better every day yeah. playing against top competition, getting yeah. better, you know, working every single day. So I don't think it was a waste of time or anything like that. So. Um, I'm just excited for where I am in my journey and to keep right. going. So let's talk about some of the fun stuff that you've seen in, in the WNBA. Like what were practices like? What was some of the fun stuff that happened in LA and in Chicago, the short stint you was in Chicago? 
Shoot. Well, I was in LA during training camp, so I went oh, from camp, I went from camp all day <laughs> back to my hotel room, back to camp, back to the gym later in the it day. Was, so it, it wasn't none funny. of that extra. Yeah, yeah. Two <laughs> two practices. Or? Um, it just most of the time with LA, we got it done like all in a time slot in the morning mm-hmm. time, and then just had the rest of the day. But I'd come back and work out with another guy later or something mm-hmm. like that. So what was the toughest oh. part about training uh, about training camp? I mean, just just staying locked in um, and knowing that like. People are getting cut. Like this ain't, you know, like yeah. you you coming in here to work hard and have fun. But at the end of the day, like you have to be locked in every single day because obviously it's more bodies here than that's going to be on the roster. So mm-hmm. you just have to be so locked in every day. And it just gets to be a lot like training camp was what a month. And you're doing that just, you know, basketball, hotel room, basketball, like every single morning. And that's yeah, all you're doing. Month. So it's just like it's it's, it's a lot. So like when I got traded i went to one day of training camp with chicago then it was just like ended up making that ended up getting waived so it's just so much going on all the time that you just have to keep your mental right and just right. you know find other things outside of basketball to like stimulate you and, and make you know that's what we be saying because it's just that's what you can't we, you we can't talk. do all basketball because you're gonna get yourself stressed out so you have to so y'all hear, the, camp, y'all hear this right that's what we y'all be y'all hear this she said it herself <laughs> <laughs> like I'm, gl- I'm gl- like, you know what I'm saying? That's <laughs> what we be saying. Damn, like she just said it. You need to do something else other. I'm yeah. glad you said that because this we last episode we was talking about this. Now it's basketball. Everybody getting mad because I do the music thing. I've re- been doing podcasts. Like everybody got something to say about it, but when they actually see what we do and how we do it in the you whole process, step away from you bit. have to. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna drive yourself crazy, <laughs> bro? Like. <laughs> Like she said, she got every shot she's shooting. Like, oh my God, if I miss this, I might get cut. Like, that's crazy. <laughs> that's it's stress. It's stress. That's like, crazy. if all you're doing is basketball, hotel, back to the gym, like, you're going to drive yourself crazy Facts. and you're not going to play your game. Like, that's a fact you're not going to play Facts. your game. Facts. You have to step away and find something else that you love, that you, you're passionate about. Just... Music to my ears. So what else are you passionate about? <laughs> Music to my ears. So what else are you passionate oh, me about? Pers- what did, what did me, you do? Me personally, I, I be at the spa. I be getting my nails. Like, I find spas in whatever city I'm at. Go to different spas. Nails. Go get uh, massages, go get my <laughs> nails, my hair done, go get a facial. Like, I just, I try to relax myself by all means possible. Like, just, you know, going outside, going to gardens. Like, I just oh, do all you, that oh, type you vibe. of vibe. Okay, okay. Yeah. Big where, where, wherever I go, I, f- I make sure I find a nice little either garden, spa area, nail and hair, you know, all that kind of stuff. That's all we be saying. That's, all, that's all it is, man. Ooh, else we got to be the bad guy. All right, look. You know, this is the segment that we've been doing every episode. It's called the cookie jar. Basically, what this is, we explain it every episode. You pick a question. We don't know the questions. I don't know it. See, they they just make them, put them in, and we just answer the questions. Now, here's the thing, though. <laughs> How much we got in the pot? We answered all ours, so it's still 300. 300. Yeah. So if you pass, 100 go in the pot, mm-hmm. and it'll be donated to a charity of whatever we choose mm-hmm. at the end of the season. So we got... 300 in the pot right now. Right. And, you know, we just go from there. It's fun questions, fun questions. chill questions. Nothing too crazy. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, nothing too wild. Nothing too mm-hmm. crazy. So, you know what I'm saying? You, you, who who going to start it off? You, you want to start Stephen off? Oh, uh, you can only let you start it off. You can choose the past, though. You don't got to answer. So, I'm answering this or y'all answering this? No, you're going to answer. We'll all answer it. Okay. Like how we did last yeah, time. Yeah, we did last time. We can do we'll, it like we'll that. We'll all right. answer, but it's your question. What's the biggest lesson hooping taught you? Oh, that's a good one. Me? Um, the biggest lesson hooping taught me was just always bet on myself, believe in myself, regardless of whoever is saying this. Like, I don't care if it's someone that's supposed to be above you, someone that's supposed to be in charge, authority. Like, bet on you despite all mm. the odds, despite anything that might be going on. Just bet on yourself. Sound so. like church. That's all the good stuff I needed to hear. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to you. All right, let me see. Let me see. Let's go. Oh, the oh. biggest lesson hoop taught you. Biggest lesson hoop taught you. Um, I ain't make it to the league. I was nice though. <laughs> <laughs> was nice, I though. was nice, but um, biggest lesson hoop taught me was probably um perseverance, uh, toughness, patience, um, teamwork. The importance of uh of uh the importance of like teammates and sharing and and um 
you know, that camaraderie that you get from being on a good team and, you know, being selfless and things like that. Like the things that I that I use in life, like I learned that from hoop. Like the things that when I coach, when I'm as a friend, as a brother, as a son, I try to use those same lessons that I've learned um, from when I was hooping and trying to chase that dream. And, um, you know, not making it was a good thing for me. I say it all the time because I said if I would have made it at the age that you usually make it at, at, at 18 to 22, mm-hmm. I probably wouldn't even be who I am now. Like, I probably would have wilded out because I would have had a bag or I probably would have, you know, right. fucked it off. Like, yeah. just because just cause my, my youth, like, that at that age, I wasn't mature enough to, to make it. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I think even that was a lesson that Hoop taught me is, like, you can be humbled. This game is something that's that's you know it's 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 a real it's a real life teacher and I'm 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 for sure putting my kids in basketball whether they want to or not. <laughs> on me, <laughs> on me. <laughs> ain't no other, ain't no other sport. You gonna play? You gonna play? You gonna play? Even if you weak, you gonna be a water boy. Even if you weak, I don't know about. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm just saying, if they don't want to play, I go like, nah, <laughs> but they don't play sports, though, that's for sure. <laughs> for sure. Yeah, you heard that, Zane. When you, when you, you get older, you watch this, you heard that. It can be soccer, but you playing. Something. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Facts. Um, uh, the biggest lesson Hoop taught me, um, or is teaching me. It's teaching me. That's not um, I mean, a big one for me is just routine. Like, mm. like creating a routine. Mm. Um whether it's you know not even with hooping, but just in life, like getting yourself in a routine that can get you through your day, mm-hmm. can like you know what I mean, that'll help you get what you got to get done done. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean, and that's even with hooping is just find a routine that works for you. Everybody's different, mm-hmm. you know what I mean, um, and just follow it. Stay true to it. Like if you got to change up stuff, change it up. Yeah, but knowing yeah. yourself and like knowing what will help you be. The best version that you can be, yeah. Like just that's keep that one. routine going. That's, that's a good one. Really? That's a then that's the biggest one. It's a lot yeah. of lessons yeah. that I yeah. can like go down the yeah. list. Like, that's a good one. You know, yeah. down the list of, um, you know what what it has taught me so far. But routine is the biggest one, and I think um I think I'm getting a pretty good hold on that. And that's that's, that was the first thing when I stepped in the NBA. Like right. when I came in the NBA, that was everybody would say, everybody would routine. talk about get you a routine. True. That's you play game. 82 games. That's a good game. If yeah. you don't got no routine, yeah. you just going, flung, just flying. Like That's going to be tough. Like You don't, you're going to be knocked out by you 20 of games. You know what I mean? College, how many games y'all played in the season? 30, 30 max? 35, 33, 35, or something like that. 30. 82 is a routine. You know what I'm saying? You go from you that to 80, Ooh. and you don't got no routine. Like yeah. It's like yeah, you're going to have to figure it out. Yeah. But if you got a routine and you stick with that, yeah. it's like, all right, I do this every day, right. off day. I get up. Right. Uh, go get treatment. Right. Don't shoot a little bit. Mm-hmm. Something got to be routine. Something that's getting me better. It don't matter. Yeah. Each day is different, mm-hmm. <laughs> but whether it's just cold, cold tub, hot tub, mm-hmm. I got to do something that's gonna get me better. It's routine. You know, what y'all I mean? play what a month after y'all graduate. I mean, I got yeah. The draft was like a month after. Like, I reported crazy. two days later. Like yeah, you know, the like, NCAA tournament. But you got to be training that whole time because two days after you get drafted, you're going straight to training camp. So it's. <laughs> You know, so and nonstop routine. No, that sounds sure. sound like that. Like you gotta have it together. You, you gotta, gotta have, have it. it together. That's, that's that's some. Yeah, that's the lesson that you know Hoop has taught me. No, that's you know, a great teaching one. Teaching me so far. So dope, dope, dope. All right, so on you to pull. It's on me. Yep. Here we go. Ah, let's give me some juicy. I ain't gonna look. <laughs> I ain't gonna look. <laughs> Dang. What's your guilty pleasure? <laughs> What's your guilty pleasure? Hey, yo. And if you pass, you go, what's a hundred dollars? <laughs> Dang, what's my good? I got to think about this one before it comes I ain't out. even guilty about it. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't going to lie to you. <laughs> I mean, uh, uh, I'll be listening to country music. It ain't, that it ain't, ain't a guilty pleasure, though. I mean that's I mean, a good that's a good one. I, like I I rock I with listen country. to country music. You don't listen to country. I swear I do. Mason Ramsey. I, I Bro, it's Ramsey. That's probably my family. You be <laughs> 
It's probably me. Nah, for real. Like I listen to country. My dad is a big Western. They be clowning me though. Like they be Who like, clown? your brother be clowning me when That's I. That's guilty. He pull he pull up blasting <laughs> country than what. I'm gonna be like, yo, you know what's going I'm on. Gonna be like, who is no, that? I will, I will do it, but it's like I know what's gonna come with it. I'm gonna think he cool. I'm gonna be like, yeah, but he uh, know what's up. I'm gonna tell y'all right. I'm gonna put y'all on. Old Town Road remix. Just skip to Mason Ramsey verse. Yeah, yeah, real country. Toughest verse on that song I ever heard. And he's only 14 <laughs> years old. So what? Like. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I, and I listen to his, his other stuff. Is famous? Uh, I can't really think it's famous. Uh, Mason Ramsey is like that. He's like that. He's, he's really like that. Okay, I'm he's gonna dig, I'm dig in the catalog. When I'm he, not. I'm when not. He, when he get older, when it come to music, I'm. I listen to anything well, that no, sounds good. good. That's like that's one of them. your country. Your like, country. Ah, I don't play country now. We if I got the ox, I'm not turning country. On. You got to turn it on. I'm not gonna turn. Turn it on. that thing on. <laughs> man. I don't want to kill the vibe. Like <laughs> when country is when I'm vibing. Like I'm yeah. like you feel me? Like I'm in the car, like by myself. Yeah. Okay. Or with some, you know, what I'm saying it don't gotta be a lot of. People. I throw a deal on. That's how I throw a deal on. <sighs> I'm not, I'm not that's not a that's not that's guilty, not guilty yet. Like, no what I'll put a Dell on in a, in a room full of hood and, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? and I bet oh, they God. sing too <laughs> bet you I'm bet saying. they sing set fire uh, to the rain to the rain I guarantee they gonna sing it I know they gonna sing it <laughs> bro stop you know playing saying? but yeah Mason Ramsey country music huh? um dang but yeah that's 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 my like alright you know right. so, Steph same question like, what's your guilty pleasure guilty Mm, that's tough, but the only thing that comes to mind is like, even though they say you're supposed to be, you know, locked in all season eating right, I be dessert. Dessert is just that's me. I'm gonna find oh, a, I'm gonna find a good ice cream spot. I'm gonna find a good cookie spot. I'm gonna find some good brownies at a restaurant. Man, um, that's just me. That's just how I go. So do you got the spots out in, in C, or, or do you got it out? In LA? I just what you... I, I be finding and I try in different places. I, all of it. All of I it. Gotta stay away from you. You sure stay do. Stay away from you. <laughs> <laughs> All of it. Okay. All right. My guilty pleasure is something like that. I pro- my guilty pleasure is I'll watch. I'm not a big TV person, but when it's a show like a Ozark, <laughs> <laughs> I'm finna watch uh. five episodes with a big ass bowl of cereal. <laughs> And I don't want to be told nothing. Like, leave me alone. Like, leave me alone. I'm locked in for five, six hours. Like, this is good. No, for sure. You know have you watched Ozark? No, I haven't. Oh, you are. Tr- you watch Ozark? See? Oh, you are. Like that. Y'all tripping. I ain't, I ain't the only one. But I will say, good you? girls, though. Good girls? I ain't watched that. Nah, you missing You missing out. See, I, so you can't I'm tell hot. me that. Cause I'm, then I'm, a, a, I'm a hot. They canceled it. Though. They canceled it? What? Sick to my stomach. Was it getting good in they canceled? No, it, it was over. Like it was. Was it four seasons? And it's over. They not bringing. Wait, it was back. it three? Or f- I think four seasons. It was and they four. Not, they not messing with you. Not bringing it back. Did that you was... watch you? No, oh, I'm about to start you... watching it though. I, I ain't finish it. I ain't finish it. But I'm about to start watching I need, it. I, they, I need to watch it. People were saying I, that it was tough. Hey, it's tough. That's it's tough. tough. People were saying different. that it's tough though. I saw and I don't even watch TV. But that exactly. I don't even watch TV. But that the only show I watch is Law and Order. But you. That Dang. was it. You so was the who one. Who told me that? I think I told you to watch it. You never did. You know what I did put you on? What? P Valley. P Valley, <laughs> boy. <laughs> Talk about it. Hey, P Valley? That's what it's called. It was called. O-D. I can't wait. Wait, did they, when they going, you know when they bringing know. it back? I have no idea. I don't the, know. The end of that season was. <laughs> they got it back. I was like, oh my God. He, yeah. He bought the whole. Yeah. Strip club. Yeah. Yeah, it went it went there. It went it's there. crazy. No, nah, they gotta bring P Valley back though. That's what it is. All right, so, my turn. Let me see what's popping. Let me not look. We don't cheat. I don't want to cheat. That's probably a good one. Ah, I that one. Ah, I see that one. I see. I see that one. <laughs> Why didn't they got the other one in there that we be talking about? I don't know. We gonna, we gonna talk about, about, we gonna anyway. talk about this it. Right. Is the, this is the, we have it. This is the day we gonna talk. We about gonna it. talk about it. This but anyway, we're not going no more without talking. about Oh, it. I'm gonna get passionate about this one. What? <sighs> Here we go. Kobe or LeBron? Y'all gonna make me? Y'all gonna make me say, Get out of character, okay? Kobe or LeBron? Choose First wisely. of all, I want to know your answer. Choose wisely, cause you are gonna make me get out of character. What Co- I what hope say? we on the same. I don't, and I and I don't know that we are. Oh 
she going to go there. And I don't know Damn that we are. Choose I don't wisely. know. Our, but, but we could talk about it. We could talk about we, it. We could talk let's about talk it. About let's, it. Talk, let's talk about choose it. Wisely. Let's talk about it. What are we talking about? Let's talk about it. Career. Kobe or LeBron. Skill. We. What are we talking about? I think we talk about the best overall basketball player. Overall, yeah. The best overall basketball overall basketball player. Come on now. Let's not make this more. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. The best overall basketball. I feel like I know where she's going. I don't like it. I don't like where she's going. But but, but all I said was the best overall basketball. So if y'all don't like where I'm going with that, that's on y'all. Because that that's y'all think that's y'all. That's y'all think about something. That's y'all think about something. Because she already masked it as overall. Yeah, overall. That's what they say. That's what they say. For the record. She's one of those. Where my camera we, at? We, Kobe Bean Bryant. Bryant. <laughs> Let's talk about it. Jelly Bean Sun. <laughs> Facts. What we talking about Don't here? Look, that. so hold See, on. Let's hear your answer. You know who I'm about to put it say. on camera. We got to put it on camera. The Kobe. Kobe. There you go. I ain't, that ain't even Kobe. Steph, what's your answer? And we can talk about we this. We can talk we about gonna it. We going to debate. <laughs> LeBron James. Oh, my Lord. Because we can talk about it. Look, I'm gonna no, say we, this. No, we can't. Though I'm gonna say this. LeBron ain't better than. Let me. Okay, let me. Let me say something. Go ahead. Go ahead. LeBron. LeBron. Not really. We. Not, we're not even gonna talk about LeBron scoring. LeBron's not talked about as one of the all time greats. Like as much. You know, KD, Kobe scoring wise. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. LeBron, better passer, I believe. Mm-hmm. Shot blocker, great defender, rebounds mm-hmm. well. Kobe. But is he but, a better defender but, than Kobe on ball? But is he? Is arguably a better scorer and does all the other things. Whoa. A better who? Scorer? What's LeBron? What's LeBron up there in scoring? There's what? what's LeBron in scoring? What's LeBron in scoring in the league? What's LeBron in scoring all time? What's LeBron in scoring all time? Understood. What's LeBron in scoring all time? Understood. He's higher than Kobe. Now. <laughs> That's all I'm so trying look. to say. So if so if you you if your argument is that Kobe a better scorer, but LeBron got more points and has a better all around game, who's the all around better player? Nope. Not taking that. Not either. Good argument. We, we good talk argument about it, by the LeBron. Good, good ar- argument by the LeBron. We don't talk about Damn. it though. But rest in peace, Kobe. Kobe Bryant. <laughs> one. He's different. Is the most skilled basketball player to ever play. Okay. And that's including Michael Jordan, only because he took all Michael stuff and just made it more polished. Wait. And that's that's evolution. That's going to happen. Okay. Because Kyrie is now probably the most skilled. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because Kyrie took all Kobe stuff and all the guard stuff and Kyrie don't have a flaw as far as skill-wise. So skill-wise, I say Kobe at 6'6", um, didn't have a flaw in his game. Secondly, we want to talk about Rhodes. Yeah, Kobe had Shaq for the first two, for the first three championships. He beat a big three team, which was really a big four because Rondo was cold. I forget about Rondo. With an older Pau Gasol. So y'all are bringing rings into this. No, equation. no, no. Y'all I'm just talking about accomplishments. Rings, rings, rings go into. Rings. I'm not talking. I'm not talking about. I'm, I'm not talking about just, the number just, of rings. That's just the question. That's I'm not talking question. about the numbers that's of rings. That's just the question. Because if you want to, I'm not talking keep, about the numbers. I, I didn't mean to cut you off. Keep going. I'm not talking keep about going. the number of rings. Hold on, I'm, I'm not let even you talking finish about though. Hold up, I'm gonna let you finish though. I'm not gonna. I didn't know if that's where you was going with this. No, I'm not talking about numbers of rings because I don't like that. I hate that. I don't like numbers because if that's the case, Bill Bill Russell is the goat. And it's not that. About it's not that. So, okay. I'm not talking okay. about number okay. of rings. I'm so just keep, talking about okay. ring significance. I just, had to, I just had to clarify that. Keep going. Ring significance. That's keep all going. I'm talking about. Okay. What Kobe did to get those two rings at the end of that, I don't think LeBron has done that because all of LeBron's championships has come with superstars on this team. All of them. Everyone. Cleveland. Is, is Kyrie Irving is a superstar. What take LeBron Kevin away? Love take is a, Le- is a take superstar. LeBron away from that team. They go to they go to the Eastern Conference oh, Finals. Oh, cute. Okay. Oh, you, ch- yo, chill out. Kyrie chill Irvin out. Chill out. And chill Kevin out, Love are going out. to the Eastern Conference. Kyrie was there. Kyrie was there chill before LeBron. Chill and out. They wasn't in chill no, out. No, no, no. With Kevin Love. With Kyrie, Kyrie, Love. Kyrie with Kevin Love. Kyrie with Kevin Love with that team nah. would go to the Eastern nah. Conference. They no, wouldn't win not. it. I'm not going to no, say that. I can't agree with that one. No, they're not. Okay, okay, not. okay. I ain't going to lie to you. Point, they're point they're LeBron is, takes a team that that's not going to that and wins a ring with them. The first the first time LeBron took somebody to the finals, when they got blew out by the, uh, by the Spurs, he shouldn't have been there. That was cold. He had guys that they shouldn't have been in the finals. I get you 100%. Teams that could have been at the bottom of Kobe the barrel. You had LeBron, but but how with many those te- type of players? How many teams can you take a team that's bottom of the barrel and just add one player and that just does it? Like, 
I, I, he just he. He's but they a, not. But they not. He. It's not just bottom of the barrel. LeBron is when tough. you look I, at his championships, he because he don't. He's not just a scorer. Like he. He can. He can bring things out of players that other players can't. Absolutely. Like he can. He can. You know. Absolutely. Um, I was hearing. I, I think Gilbert Reed or somebody said straight up. They was like, "You don't make players better. Like, if I have to make you better, you're not that that good." This is. I'm just saying what he said. I don't necessarily agree, but he was saying it in the sense of, "Ain't no, I'm I, like I can't make somebody better. Now I can give them situations. They still have to hit the shots. They still have to do those things. And Bron is the perfect person to draw." three, four people a lot of times. Yeah. So all you have to do is kind of hit the shots. But I'm not going to sit here and lie and say he made Chris Bosh better. Chris Bosh was better without him. Chris Bosh was a superstar without him. I mean, and we're not going to say he just makes everyone around because those type of players are hard to play with when they're, yeah. you know, you're, you're playing off them all yeah. game. Like, it's tough to play with those types of players right. sometimes. But I still do think that he put his teammates in good positions yes, to be successful. Absolutely. And I don't know that. A KD, a Kobe, did that the same wait, way. Wait, did wait, that this did that the same way Ouch. that LeBron could, passing wise, rebounding wise, going hard on defense. All different, play, like, different leadership, but KD, diff- KD did it a little different. He, like the more modern Ray, like KD is a is a is a whole another conversation. We can get into him too because he pa- passing wise, who's a better passer, KD, Ooh. LeBron, KD or LeBron? Yeah. I'm not even comparing those. This is oh, LeBron by a landslide. Okay, okay. Like, because like, if we if we go down skill sets on who's better at what, I'm 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 taking LeBron in a lot of those categories, which is why I take him as a better over LeBron. over scoring like scoring. You would take him skill set wise. You would take him over Kobe Bryant. I don't. I don't skill know set wise. Skills, skill set wise. No, but okay. look at but look at every good. other category. I wasn't are, you, nothing are, you, are, you those, are you one of those ones that say Bron is the goat? Is, is he better than Bron? Is he better than Mike? I think so. Oh, shit. I think so. Okay, right. we can't um, have, well, that's the halfway right. decent pod for you. <laughs> I think so. Well, that's the halfway decent pod. Thank you for joining so. into the halfway I'm gonna take, decent pod. I'm going to take, no take LeBron go. I'm going to take LeBron go. And I'm and I'm standing on that. That's we, all... we ain't even got to talk about it, but I'm standing on okay. that. I feel it. I feel it. I'm not, I'm not mad at you because both... he's made it so hard. Going to the finals eight times. That's insane. In a row, like that's in a row, ten different. times five, t- total. Eight times in a row. No, I'm saying in a row, though. That's like different. that's crazy, old D. bro. Like, like that's, that's so. Different. I would never disrespect the man no. by saying like he don't deserve to be in a conversation. Mike is a different. I just think different can, conversation. To me, I just think you can throw LeBron on any team and he gonna make it work. Some Michael players Jordan can't play too. with certain players. Some players can't can't be successful Kobe in certain Bryant situations too. with certain players. Yeah. LeBron, you could throw him anywhere you, and he going to make it work, whether you, he's got to play a little bit, you know, like he has the ball in his hands a lot, but some players can't play off the ball at all. Some players yeah. can't, you know, play around certain other players. LeBron I don't think can't. LeBron is good off the ball. LeBron's not good off the no, ball. No, he's but not he, good but, off the ball. But, but he can play with anybody you throw him with, I think. I think but he I, think, can, I, think, I think the reason why it didn't work the first year in Miami is because he tried to figure out, like, is this my team or is this Wade team? Yeah, yeah, and yeah, you see yeah, him be yeah, off the yeah. ball, and LeBron would stand. Not, yeah. He has to have the he, ball. He does have to have the ball. Which ain't a problem, because like, that's like Magic. Like, yeah. Magic couldn't play off the ball. Like, but, I mean, all of these people we're bringing in this conversation play on the ball, too, and have yeah, to play on the ball. Yeah. But LeBron can work with someone who else needs to be on the ball and make them still successful in that situation But the thing is, the Kobe played off the ball when he had Shaq. It was point guard, Shaq, yeah. and then Kobe. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I think, like, it was, it's probably four or five different Kobe Bryans that I've seen. And I'm like, bro, when you bunch all that together, this man is yeah. one of the most yeah. coldest to ever play basketball. And then when you talk about the mindset, we all talk about mama mentality. Different, different. That shit is different because you've seen it. A broken finger, go to the trainer, crack it back in, finish playing. Excuse me? Nah, Kobe. Your finger is broken. I see it. Yeah, no. Nah. I'll give Broken you that. nose, come out forty. I, I I do think Kobe is more of a killer, you know, assassin type Facts. than LeBron. Like Kobe inspires I, me more than any other player to exactly. play the game of basketball. Okay, that's, yeah. that's what we know. And, 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 that's, the, and that's why the I, that, this I, thing. a lot of the and, things that LeBron has over Kobe, I put that as the 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 my basis of my argument because, like you like we like we're talking about with basketball and the season and the grind and the 82 games and the cutting and all the stuff that we talk about with basketball for this man to go through what he went through and come as close to Jordan as you can possibly come to, as far as accomplishments and sometimes surpass Jordan in some of the things he did and Jordan you know this is the guy this is you know at the time this is the person that you know the ghost you can't you can't catch Jordan for Kobe to do that 
and then do some stuff better. I was like, nah, it can't be a, a better basketball player than this. Now, when Bron came out, I thought he was going to be the best to ever play. Straight up, like, as a rookie, I looked, I said, no, this is going to be the best basketball player ever because he had everything. I don't think LeBron, I think LeBron was so good that he didn't develop some of the shit that would have so, made him. But listen. The GOAT. If he's got a lot more points than a lot of these people are bringing this conversation and is a better all-around player, like, what thinks, what makes you think him as, like, not in that, you know? No, like, no, no. I don't, I don't, he's not out of my top three. Okay. Like, Bron is in my okay. top three. It's Mike-ish, Kobe-ish. Kobe so what Mike? what what puts them like above you over LeBron if LeBron scores? Mindset, you know, like, mindset is one mindset. because in basketball, mindset. your mental is 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 you know what you go through. Because I'm not gonna hold the, you. I agree with that. I think Kobe and, and Mike yeah. have a different mindset that LeBron doesn't that, have. I I agree with that, that. That's why I put them number one. But if I'm just looking at he's got more buckets, he's a better really? all around player. Like I'm and and he goes to whatever team and and produces. Like I'm. I, I just, but the thing is, when I talk, it's a, it's a couple arguments because when you talk about skill wise, he I doesn't. But he's still like okay, my. I know he can't. He he makes up for what he lacks. But li but listen, okay, say he's not you know for the game winner shooting a turnaround fadeaway. Cool, that's not in his bag. But he can get a higher percentage shot for that game winner. He's getting a higher percentage shot than a lot of these people because a lot of people tell themselves something so long that they start to believe it's true. And people talk about LeBron's not clutch. If you look at last sixty seconds of games and look at LeBron's percentage, we could look that up too because he's, layups, he's top though. four. Top no, four. No. 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 No shade to them layups. But that's but that's but that's because if you can though. get that, yeah. if you can go yeah. get that that's and don't have to shoot, shot, you're getting a high yeah. percentage shot. I get you. I get if you. If you can go get that, I just, then you're... I just think I think in the I think I think it's preference. Honestly, I think when it comes down to last second shots and all that thing, like I think it's preference. Like because if you can go get a layup, is what I'm saying. You can't say, no "Oh well, he's taking layups. No he's going to get a layup." We called. I was I was watching a game with Paul Pierce before. Like we was at. A mutual friend house was watching the game with Paul Pierce, and we called what LeBron was gonna do. And in I think it was the finals game. We was like, Paul said it. He was like, he was like, has he left drive or left step back three ball? He left step back three ball, missed it. If you're that predictable, that's five years ago probably. At that time, he was that predictable, and I was so mad at Bron because I was like, bro, you could have just backed him down, uh uh, hit it, and he got that in his bag now. Like now he has that in his bag. I'm like, but I'm used to Kobe. So I'm like, my guy, I know he's taking the shot. And that that pressurized shot, that shot that seems like it's a bad shot, he making that motherfucker. So it's just preference. Okay. I fuck with Bron. I fuck okay. with Bron for real. Like I, and and when you talk about outside the court, it's it's crazy. The but things he's doing, yeah. Yeah, it's crazy. Like it, it, it's that dude is, you know. That dude is crazy, but Absolutely. I think it's just preference, bro. When it comes to that, Agreed. when it comes to that, Agreed. when it comes to that, I think. But Bean, different, different, different breed. Ooh -wee. That's cold. Oh, God. <sighs> <sighs> Drake or Beyonce? Oh God! Wow. Yes, sir. Just... What are we what are we talking about? We talking about? Performance? But why do you always say what, like, what we talking, what are we talking, we talking about? about? Are we talking what about we... music? We and overall, overall artists overall big biggest artists. You can't say biggest artists. Why not? Because that's Beyonce. Beyonce is you... she got a beehive. They will sting you. <laughs> say something bad about them. Look, uh, bigger. Like I'm not. What? I'm not saying nothing bad about Beyonce. All right. What? I'm going Beyonce. I would be high. I'm going Beyonce. They don't play. No, they don't. They don't I play. love Beyonce. Big B. But I'm gonna ask you who, you, who you. Big B. Big B. Beyonce, huh? <laughs> and I and I love Drake. That's that's why this this one breaks my heart. I love Drake. I do. Beyonce, but, huh? Like who do I listen to more now? Hmm. Drake. Oh yeah, Drake. But I listen to more. Huh. Beyonce just I grew up on it. So versus battle, Drake, Beyonce. Who gonna win that? The Beehive won't let her lose. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, you know they don't decide that. They don't decide. I thought the fans what? decide. And the versus yeah. nobody. They don't choose a winner. But hit like, for hit. Yeah, if you, if Beyonce you, got the, Beyonce but, but got Drake too. Drake, that's yeah, what I'm I saying. Know. You have a the, like the recent versus battles. You you seen the one with Bow Wow the Soldier. Yeah. Keith Sweat, Bobby Brown. Yeah. Stuff like that. It's hit. Beyonce and Drake on that stage. Beyonce is going to 
They play a hit for him. 20 they, songs, my, my G. When you Beyonce me, play, when Beyonce play, uh, 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 what's that, what's that called? What's ring that called? on it, put a ring on it. <laughs> absolutely. I'm not taking. The whole joint going to be. So, best uh, okay. I, he put on Best I Ever Had. Then best what? I Ever Had. Uh, 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 what's, what's some more, what's some more Drake classics? Beyonce won that one. Woo. Beyonce won that one. If he would if, if those two was the thing. Nah, I'm, I'm t- on that particular one. I'm taking Drake. Best I, best I best Ever Had over, uh, uh, oh. Yeah. If you like it, you should have put a ring on it. Bruh. Best I ever had went stupid when it came out. <laughs> no, y'all, go, y'all best I ever had don't have no no dance. So what? It ain't got to. You got a two slide? Really? Not over. No, I'll just I'm about to say <laughs> what? Yeah, I'm capping, he just, I'm just got. I'm I'm put capping. it like this: If your shorty put on dance for you, mm, that one. I, mm, Mm. You don't like dance for you? No, I put that on every day. Exactly. Still, exactly. If still, your shorty put on still. dance for you, she loves you. Ah. <laughs> but if I'm you ain't your feelings and put on Marvin's room, then what? No, that's a cold. <laughs> then what? Then what? Shout out Jay for that. Ooh, you know Marvin's ah. exactly right. Shout out Jay for that. Ooh, Marvin's room was. That's not your favorite song, bro. That would be my favorite. That's not song. my favorite Drake song, but I I appreciate that song. Right. <laughs> Marvin's you room. You getting those? Ah, oh, that was a cup subtle road. <laughs> Stop playing. Right high school there. I was working at at the time. Yeah. Then my old the, 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 oh the, the the kids were. Hide off and be listening to their little Marvin's room <laughs> and be in they fi- oh, I'm trying to tell you. Who hurt you? Drake Marvin's got the room. ones. Then you got. Uh, got t- to the left, to the left. But Drake be speaking though. Like to he be left, like, put on Lemon Pepper Freestyle. Lemon like, no, that's cold. That's cold. Like, come lemon on. Pepper. Oh, when he got off on Rose. Western joint, Roll Flows. That's a cold. Uh, Tuscan Leather. Tuscan Leather. Drake is a boy. The, uh, like he be, uh, he be uh, speaking. Uh, pound cake. <laughs> oh my god. You go on and on, oh, bro. Goodness. Like when to say when. That was a, that was his new classic. Mm-hmm. When to say when was his new. That's classic. my favorite Drake song. Mm. Nah, nah. I was about to say that's my favorite Drake song, but nah, I take that back. It's it's definitely top. Me five. myself and I come I know, on Beyonce I know. to to the left to the left. Da, 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 don't we not? Are we counting da, 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 Destiny's da, da, Child? What are we doing? Oh, no, you, if we uh, talk, are, are, are we talking about that? Though? Yes, are we talking about yes, that? No. Yes, yes. No, I said Beyonce. That's, that's, I didn't say Drake. <laughs> and, it didn't say Drake. That's Destiny's Child. Child. Yes, no. That is no. Beyonce's group. Are we talking about no. that? Are we Beyonce's talking about group. that? No, you we're talking about it. She yes. got a verse in next in they group song. Are we talking song. about no. that? That's her group. That's, that's, it is her group, but she, she led things. the group. That changes things. Group. Are we talking about we're that? Talking Beyonce, about that solo artist. No, no, no. Beyonce <laughs> and Destiny Beyonce Child versus Drake. Or what? What are we talking about? Bro, Beyonce, Be- Destiny Child versus Drake. Of course, Destiny Child and Beyonce, bro. Come on now. Okay, cool. I'm talking about solo Beyonce. No, Cater to You might be the best song out of all. That's of them. a hard song. I love out of, out of both I love sides. all of these songs. Cater to and let's not flex like Michelle Part ain't tight. Like I don't know why we be no, flexing. I like Michelle Part ain't tight. Bugaboo, Soldier. Oh my God, they're winning. If you're Wayne doing this on Soldier, if you're He's doing not. if you're doing Destiny Child and Beyonce and Drake, they're winning that. Okay, cool. But if you're all going right. Beyonce and we Drake, that. we win that. It's right. It's it's. it's yeah. Yeah. Uh, it ain't it ain't it's not a blowout. Let me t- I'm, I'll put it like that. It ain't a blowout. It's not. First of all, Drake ain't getting blew out by nobody. Nobody. There's nobody that nobody. Drake out. Now Chris Brown and Usher. Let's talk about wanna, it. If we want to dive into that. Bonus question. Bonus question. We don't got no more questions. This is the last question. Bonus question. Chris Brown or Usher in a versus battle. Now we got our opinions. We want to hear yours. I want to hear what you got to say. You can't ask me that. You yes. can't talk about confessions, then talk about uh talk never about say it. goodbye. Like Never I say uh, you gotta be the first one, cuz come on, stop playing. You know my answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me hear mine. Yeah, what you uh, got? Sure. Okay. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, oh, sure. Sure. Thank you. But Chris Brown Thank throwbacks. You. Chris Brown throwbacks. Cold. Look, he got. <laughs> that's been it. That's Chris been Brown it. throwbacks. <laughs> it's been real. <laughs> Uh, I, I gotta, I gotta look at a list right now and go like. Go this, on Chris Brown Essentials Apple Music. I, like I, I gotta look at. You both. said you was on there. At, Usher I was on there. Usher had hits on there, but I'm still rolling with Chris Brown. You said at the end of the Usher, day, in I a gotta, private conversation, you said Usher's so Essentials is better. So I gotta look snitching. at both. I gotta look at both, and the, I can make an informed decision. But right now, offer it. <laughs> so think, you think, so think, you Thinking about confessions, all the all the different confessions. You got it bad. You got it. Chris Brown. 
It's seven o'clock on, on the dot. dot. I'm, I'm in, in my drop top, cruising the street. Why okay. you sing? You on you on Chris Brown for it? It's hard. I'm not saying. I got I'm not a, a hater. real pretty pretty little thing. To... Mm. <laughs> Look, bro. Pull but excuse me, miss. Let me take you down. That. Take you down was tough. Stop playing with me. Hey, yo, might be his yo. Best. Yo, wall to wall with you. <laughs> With you, yeah. with you, with you, with you is cold. With you. So you said Walla Walla not a hit? Nah. Running? Mm. You okay. put Walla Walla in the verses with Usher. What? Absolutely. You get laughed out of the verses. <laughs> you get laughed out of the verses. You better keep it with yo. Excuse me, miss. Excuse me, miss. That's, that's yo, but. Yeah, it is. It oh, is. yeah. But, uh, but, come on, now, don't stop. Walla Walla, wall, wall, to wall. No, man, it, they're getting the wall to wall. I ain't in the stop playing okay, with okay, Chris. Okay. But it wouldn't be in the verses. I wouldn't put that. If I'm Chris, I wouldn't put that in the verses. Not with Usher. Not with Usher. Man, that's a guaranteed no, loss. Tripping, bro. You, you, you can put any crazy. one of the confessions versus that new, one. New breezy, you got to go crazy. You got who? What? Like what? What? What more do you? All I'm gonna say about this because I love you got breezy. Deuces. All I'm gonna deuces was cold. You got uh, uh, look at me now. The, host, the hardest verse next on, to you. The hardest verse on deuces was 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 Drake. I thought it was Usher. Never mind. It was Drake's verse. Drake's verse Drake was the hardest. On deuces remix. Drake. What? I ain't heard it. That's that's crazy. And Andre 3000? Oh, yeah. They're on there. You, you ain't heard Drake verse on that. No, I haven't. I got to go, go top end. You ain't heard the one with Andre 3000? Yeah. Oh, wow. I got to top end. Moving on, you would trip. <laughs> he went crazy on that. I got to tap in. I ain't play heard that when you get to the car. Play that when you get to the car. Right, ASAP. ASAP. That's, that's, put, that's put a that classic. Playlist. Put that ASAP. Playlist. I, but I think, honestly, we, we this might be a question that stays because when you talk about, I think us getting disrespected when you talk about <sighs> us catalog, bro, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm Different. just saying breezy. Was... Our first conversation is who sing better, and we don't want to even go into that no more. The second is who got more. <laughs> <laughs> I really got to look at some. Usher like... sings. Ah, you know the no, Chris Brown. Ah, <laughs> Usher sing better, but at first I thought Chris Brown sing better, but like I should be hitting them high notes. Usher, yeah. Usher acapella is crazy. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get out to Usher. Singing better is Usher. Hits, but you give it to Chris Breezy. Hit for hit. Come do three backflips in a row. <laughs> Yo, that boy crazy. Don't even stretch. I think straight Chris off Brown, the Chris dressing Brown, room. Chris Brown might be the most talented musician on this side of Michael Jackson. Man, he is is Mike and then Chris Brown. In most my talented, opinion, most talented. That in man, my opinion is Michael Jackson. Then you got Chris Brown as far as the performing. Coded, he is yeah. one of the coldest. You ain't no and then Beyonce. It. Yeah. Oh, you got to put Beyonce up there. I, yeah, I thought you meant like she's behind him or something. You better stop disrespecting that beehive, man. I, bro, you, you, I didn't say nothing wrong. Just, <laughs> hey, y'all better not let, don't let him, don't Sick let him, him, don't let him gas y'all up. I Sick love y'all. Under the most recent sickum. <laughs> I, <love, laughs> I love Beyonce. I respect Beyonce. I didn't say nothing wrong. <laughs> is she third not or trick is she daddy? second? Sick. I want I don't want death threats in my, <laughs> in my, in my trick daddy stuff. Is she stuff. third or is she second as far as performance when we come to Mike and them? Is Mike is who is who? It's, I ain't never seen Michael Jackson uh, perform, but we we gonna just say it's Mike because yeah, Mike. Is Mike up there. But like just I seen of, the clip. How you met like as a kid, I swore I was Michael Jackson. Like, bro, I was doing did you have a glove? What? I, if I didn't have one, I found one. My glove gloves. wasn't even glittery, but it was a glove. Uh, Silver glove. Like yeah. those, those shower gloves. You like I, 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 I was tough. <laughs> Put it on. I was in there doing all the like I was Mike. I cut off the little hands right here. I had the little glove. <laughs> I'm just saying, you got, got a you got a thriller. You got Michael Jackson, though. Thrillers. Everybody still do the thriller dance. I knew the whole thing, but I didn't even look at the TV. I got to a point where I was like, "Good, I'm good look. at it." I'm just doing all the. I'll, I'll just check real quick, see if I'm doing it right. <laughs> I'm good. I'm <laughs> But it got to be Mike. Mike. Mike Chris Brown Beyonce. Is it Beyonce or Chris? Don't put, don't put me in this. All I'm gonna say is Mike Chris Brown Beyonce. That's, yeah, that's the that's the three. We ain't three. gonna put it in order. That's okay. the three. Yeah, man. Well, this is this is this a this is a dope episode. This bro. was a dope episode. This is a dope episode, man. Appreciate you. Mm-hmm. You know, for doing this with us, man. It's the third episode of the podcast. So, All right. Um. You know, yeah, man. Appreciate you. Yeah. Thank Thanks you, for having Steph. me. Of this course, sure. Hey, man. That was it on our third episode of the Halfway Decent Pod. 
make sure I go follow our pages on all social media and, and go listen to the podcast wherever y'all get y'all podcasts from. We'll be back for episode four as soon as we can. We out of here. We out. <laughs>